Hello! Today we are going to be making the Charm Table Topper, featuring pure elements in the Denim Studio Linen by Art Gallery Fabrics. We will be learning to applique with steam a seam and how to create a grid quilt pattern using the walking foot and seam guide. This festive table topper will be a perfect addition to your home to decorate for the month of March, or any day you want a bit of luck. Here's what you'll need to get started. Take a 8 inch square of steam -a seam and peel off sheet of paper to expose the glue side of the steam -a seam. Place your 8 inch square from fabric A on top of the glue side and iron fabric to steam -a seam. Repeat this same process with the other 8 inch squares from fabric B through D. Next place fabric A and B squares right sides together. Pin four leaf clover template to the two pieces. Cut out the four leaf clover. Cut four leaf clovers vertically in half and then sew them together. Press each seam to opposite sides. Now place your four leaf clovers right sides together and cut in half again and sew together. Make sure to match up seams. Peel the backing paper of your steam -a seam off carefully and center it in the middle of an 8 inch square from fabric E and iron into place. Repeat this same process for the 8 inch squares from fabric C and D but place them in the center of an 8 inch square from fabric F. Sew squares together with 1 4 seam allowance, making sure to match up seams. Pin your batting to the back of your front placemat. For this project, you will need the quilting sole attached to your walking foot. To assemble the walking foot with seam guide, hold the foot by the U-shaped metal part. Insert the left or right seam guide into the hole and the U-shaped metal part into the foot. Insert the foot sideways from the right behind the needle placing the fork up over the needle clamp and the shank under the positioning cone. Attach by securing the clamp lever. Set stitch length to 4 and move needle two positions to the right of center. Moving the needle position to the right will increase the spacing between the grid stitching lines. We will be grid quilting our table topper, which will consist of horizontal and vertical lines, which creates a grid-like pattern. I used emerald green for one set of lines and light fern for the other set of lines. Place the outer edge of your foot against the center seam line and stitch a straight line all the way to the end of your piece. Repeat this same process, placing the outer edge of your foot following the line you previously stitched until you get to the end of your piece. Continue this same process for the other side of your piece. If you want your stitch lines to be wider than your foot, the seam guide is a good tool to use. Unscrew the screw to loosen seam guide and you are able to adjust the width. Square off your piece and you are ready to attach the backing.
Take your backing fabric cut in fabric F and place it right sides together to your front placemat. Stitch all the way around your piece, leaving a small unsewn portion in order to flip the right side of your placemat through. When sewing your backing, use the freehand system when pivoting at each of the corners. It will save you a lot of time in all of your sewing projects. When you get to the corner to pivot, use your right leg to raise the foot. Turn the fabric to the new direction, release your leg to lower the foot, and begin sewing again. Clip each corner at the seam allowance to ensure you will get nice pointy corners when you flip your piece through. Flip piece through the unsewn portion. Press piece and hand stitch unsewn portion closed. I hope you enjoyed making the charm table topper featuring pure elements and the denim studio linen by Art Gallery Fabrics. Enjoy practicing your grid quilting and using the walking foot and seam guide to create interesting quilting patterns. Stay tuned for more projects from AGF, which can all be found on the Bernina website at weallsew.com. <laughs>